Hey, you guys. Walking here at one of the parks that we're at with the children. They have paved paths for us to walk. This is one of the, the big parks, the bigger parks, if you will, uh, where we live in the county. Tillamook County has many parks. So they have swings. They have an area for skateboarders. Uh, they have the little turn tops down there, if you can see it. Many trees. And if you can see way over, you guys, way over are the mountains, beautiful mountains that surround uh, where we live in Tillamook. So the trees are absolutely gorgeous. Do you see their poetic stance? Look at that and how the leaves just sit on them. But really clean park, you guys, really clean park. Uh, there's Carl over there in the far walking. And so I posed a question to one of my communities. How are you taking care of your divine body? Hey, Gwen, how are you taking care of your body? That vehicle for your message, your divine message. Okay. And so I was telling Cam, he's on a turn top. And one of the things that I do, just as a side note, is uh, when you ever feel yourself like dizzy, dizzy, you know how, if you've ever been on those things, you guys, can you see it in the far? And you felt like, you know, you were going to throw up or be dizzy. One of the things I've learned is try to stabilize my body, stabilize my body, no matter where I'm at. And that's a good form of self-discipline. So when you're somewhere, you feel sick. Just try to get your inner stabilization. But anyway, back to the body. Um, it's the vehicle for your, your message. You are here for purposes. God made you, created you to do some great things. Whether it's with your family, in the community, on a national, a global level. You are here to spread love. Right? And so one of the things I love doing is walking. I've been doing it since I was a kid. We'd walk to the parks, uh, Cahokia Mounds, which is a historic site in Granite City, Illinois. Um, and I always tell people, don't make yourself do stuff that you don't enjoy. You know, it's about quality versus quantity. What do you really like or love so much that you can do more of it? that you can get yourself active, right? Because when you don't like it, there's some resistance there. And I think your body is prone to hold on to fat, to hold on to extra stuff because you don't want to do it. So find out what you love. Do you like walking? Do you like swimming? Do you like dancing? You don't have to join a club to walk, to dance. You know, can, can you... You know, watch videos on YouTube. What can you do with minimum amount that you pay out of pocket to help yourself be healthy, to reduce your risk of diabetes, heart disease, all those chronic, hear me, preventable health conditions. They're preventable, preventable. You don't have to get them. And even when you get it, you can manage it. You don't have to go losing a leg or losing a kidney or eyes because honestly, what I would tell people that have diabetes is it's an opportunity for you to take better care of yourself. Don't see it as a punishment. See it as an opportunity to say, oh, I need to make sure I watch what I eat. I need to make sure I exercise. I need to make sure I check my feet, have my eyes check, do all the other stuff I need to do so I can be in the best health. There go that man, so you see that man? Keep an eye on him, you guys, he messing with me. He messing with me. <laughs> um, but, and then whatever you do, if you have children, remember children here and they watch, they observe you, they see what you're doing. So you can tell them to go and be healthy, be fit all you want. And they're gonna say, uh-huh. You're not doing it because I, I said it. People that would say stuff to me and wasn't doing it themselves, you're not doing it. So why should I do it? But you do it 
because you love yourself. You take care of your body because you know your life has meaning. You take care of your body because you can't go in the closet and get another body form for tomorrow and the next day. What you have is what you have. So why not just take care of it? So any another last look. Look at that beautiful tree, you guys. Beautiful tree. When I would think, sit across, I would sit on my porch when I was a kid in Eagle Park, Illinois. And I look at one of the trees across the street. And I see how no matter what the weather was, it was able to regain itself. Its leaves, its beauty, its poise. And I think that's how human beings are. We are from nature and we can learn a lot from nature and trees taught me how to maintain posture during the storms, life storms, you know, that there's a season for everything and just keep on living, keep on living. So anyway, I just walked a mile and so just want to touch base with you, base with you. What do you like doing? do it a little bit at a time keep doing it because you're worth it i'll talk to you guys later have a fantastic weekend just pass another beautiful tree and take care of yourself all right bye bye go ahead and tell everybody i said hello talk to you later i need to call you